Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy, Stumped, back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, hopping into Escape from Cacao Island, number three, the 50 Stamina 11 Star event that has come out for the final part of the six-year anniversary. So in this video today, I do have three teams for you guys to take on this event. And in this video, we're focusing on the chopper missions that involve bringing... Um, is it... It's Beach, Pudding, and Sanji. They're the big ones. So... If you guys aren't aware, there are a bunch of rewards for doing it with Beige, Beige, Pudding, and Sanji on your team. Then there's one for Carrot, Chopper, and Jinbei. And then the final one is just bring all Psy units. So the, the all Psy units one is going to be fairly easy for most people. Um, but in today's video, I do have three teams for you guys to take down the event using Beige, Pudding, and Sanji. So let's have a quick look at the teams before we start the event. The first team, shout out to Leafico. Um, whoop, where is it? This one here. Shout out to Leafico. Uh, this is a team I did not make. Uh, I was recommended through the, my Discord server. If you guys want to join the Discord, link is in the description below. And while you're down there, make sure to belt that like button. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button too, because, you know, why not? Um, so this team worked fairly well. Um, it is a little bit slow, and it is very legend heavy. We do have Shanks crew. Marco support is not essential. Um, Shanks crew, obviously being a, like an amazing leader, just works very, very well with, the, with his switch ability. Uh, we do have 6 plus Beach. He is very, very good for this particular team. We have Legend Pudding here. She's amazing for this content as you can't use attack boost on the final stage. Next, we have Robin, uh, the Summertime Robin. She's great to remove uh, damage reduction on this particular team. We also have the support of Bardo. Very, very important to remove paralysis. The next unit we have is Luffy and Law, or Laffy as I like to call them. They're very, very good as our orb booster, and they can also use the Rayleigh support. Now, they are probably the only unit that is really replaceable on this team, as you can probably be doing like V3 Law. He should work fine off the top of my head, uh, just with the Corazon support, though. We are using the boosted ship. Fairly important. We are using the boosted ship so we can start with Luffy Sanji special. And we are using a friend Luffy Sanji. All of these teams need a friend Luffy Sanji. Very, very important for this fight. It's weird that German just came out and like Luffy Sanji like the character you need. But it is what it is. Next team uh, is this one here, utilizing Roger and Odin combo. So Roger is our leader for, this, leader for this team. He works very, very well as a three times captain. And then with the same trick, storing the special with pudding, it just works exceptionally well. Next, we've got Odin. The Roger-Odin co combo is still absolutely god tier. Works very, very well with the amount of out damage you can output. And he does trigger Roger's super typing, so that works great. Uh, you could probably replace him with, like, V3 lore again, I guess. But then you just can't use the super typing of Roger. But it isn't really essential to have the super typing. It's just extra damage, I guess. Next, we have the rare recruit beads. The biggest downside to this was actually bringing beige, um, as there aren't many good beige units. But this guy works really, really well for the final stage. He removes the, th uh, the chain coefficient reduction and the chain lock. Uh, finally, we have the new Frodo by Carrot. This, car this Carrot is actually god tier for this fight. When actually I make my video for the Carrot, Chopper, and Jinbei, she's pretty much going to be on every team. So, God, I hope you guys have got her. Hopefully, you guys have, um, like, leveled her up and stuff. Fortunately, we don't have enough to max her, but look, it is what it is. Um... The only notable support on this team is Jinbei, but he is not essential whatsoever. They're just stat boosters. Once again, Luffy Sanji friend with the boosted ship. The final team is probably the most optimal team. These two teams actually did it like fairly around the same time. Uh, we are using a Luffy Sanji team. So again, Luffy Sanji is just amazing for this content, mainly because of the hunger debuff. Very, very important that you actually bring a Luffy Sanji to get around that. And for this team, we are using the Rayleigh support once again to remove despair and paralysis. We have the carrot once again on this team. She's just so, so good for stage, like the, the second last stage. She's she's so good for that fight. Uh, and she's free to play, so I don't feel bad for chucking on her every team. Uh, then we have limited rare recruit pudding. As I mentioned in the run, she's probably replaceable with literally any pudding you like. Um, I just brought her because like I've never used this unit before, and she removes uh, damage reduction, so that's really, really good. Uh, then we have the Rare Recruit Beige. Once again, besides him and Legend Beige, there isn't many other options or any at all, really. And then finally, we have the new German unit. Now, the reason this team works so well is because we are using this German unit. And if you don't have this German unit, probably wouldn't try this team. I'd probably revert to the Roger team, as that would basically... It's more efficient for cat people that just haven't summed at all on this particular banner. But because I had Luffy Sanji here, I decided to put uh, the German here too. Once again, anniversary ship with a friend Luffy Sanji. They're the teams. Let's hop in. All right, so for the first team, shout out to Leafico. Um, I'm not the actual creator of this team, but um, he was on stream. 
or she was on stream and said, hey, Stum, try this team. It's very, very good to get the beach one done. So this is the team here. The notable supports are Legend Bardo on the Robin and Rayleigh on Laffy. Now, Laffy's replaceable with someone like V3 Law would work very, very well and use the Corazon support. Um, basically, they're just here as an orb booster at the end. But uh, as you saw in the intro, the team consists of Shanks Crew, uh, 6 Plus Beach, who's very, very good actually for this particular team, Legend Pudding, uh, you got Laffy, and then you've got Robin as well. So I've started it from the very beginning as this particular piece of content, um, you've only got 16 turns, and it does need a little bit of explaining on each particular step. So on the second turn, we actually get four turns of the hunger debuff so this is where you're bringing the anniversary ship is very very good because we can actually use luffy sanji special on turn one to give us a full board of meat orbs which is very very handy to remove that hunger debuff now beach and pudding both have barrier pen which works very very well on this particular team because we can actually get through those barriers and not really worry about hitting those grates now i use the marcano support to get rid of this remove sound effects but it's not essential to be able to do that, especially if you do have barrier pen. You just want to make sure that you are getting rid of that hung debuff. And that's why bringing a Luffy Sanji friend for this particular piece of content is basically almost required. But for this team, it is the Sanji to satisfy the Chopper Man missions. So there is also that. On stage, I think, what stage are we on? Stage three or four? Stage three or four, we come up against Barbaros and another one of Big Mom's lackeys. With the switchability of shanks crew for the attack buff we can just take her out in the front very important you try and kill her first as she will special bind you for four turns if you don't but with this team doesn't really matter because shanks crew can remove that but if you aren't using shanks crew you do need to be careful if you don't kill barbaros on the second turn as well he will um give you like a full board of bomb orbs and stuff like that he does a bunch of whole, whole bunch of nasty stuff but if you need to you can take the time to sort of just like stall a little bit on him if you don't have the damage don't stress as you can see here i didn't have the damage so i just decided to eat those meat orbs take an extra turn on barbaros as he really doesn't do that much he does a bit of like the hp cut's probably the worst thing but as you can see like he just rotates your orbs but there is the chance that you can get bomb or super bomb orbs so on the second turn we're just going to take barbaros out now and we can move on to the next stage. The very annoying thing about this the particular fight is the like the countdown. Uh, it makes it very, very hard as you do need to like get through the content pretty quick. On the next stage, you come up against the uh, toys. Now, they all have just 10 HP and a massive, massive defense ball. So with this particular team, we have a lot of hit counters. Um, I just don't even worry about trying to hit perfects here. I just let the characters hit, like, hit out, and then you can just make sure you take out as many as you can. Um, moving through this particular stage is very, very... Not annoying, but like... It just chews through at least two of your turns. And I feel like that's probably why it's here. But with like Laffy, Luffy Sanji having a six turn hit count. Shanks has a five. Pudding has a five. Beige has six. So like you can get through most of them fairly easily. On the next stage, we come up against Perispera. Now Perispera is going to paralyze us for four turns. It gives us five turns of gloom. That's where Bardo and Rayleigh are very, very good. Because we can just remove that with supports. But he also has three turns of defense up. Now on this particular team here, we are going to use Robin. Now I got fairly lucky. And I had a Psy Orb on Robin. If you do get a Psy Orb, try and hang on to it. Because when then we switch into Shanks' crew, he actually makes them all matching. Now, even though Perispero has like low HP, he's very, very similar to the Whitebeard on the Garb Challenge. He's still got like a fair chunk of HP, even though he's missing like two thirds of it. As you can see that we hit him very hard and he's still alive. If you don't kill him on the first turn, he is going to do a HP cut and then he's going to bind your middle row for two turns. I think he does that for three turns and then on the fourth turn, he despairs your captains for two turns. You guys will see that in the next team though. But with Luffy Sanji, just switching with them, you can guarantee yourself a meat orb for a little bit of healing as well is removing one turn of that bind which means you remove one of the turns and then when you kill paris Burrow, as you see there you can move on to the next stage and the bind will be gone when you do kill paris Burrow, he gives your your captain eight turns of bind which obviously goes down to five and then four with preemptive and on the next stage we come up against daifuku daifuku turns into an int unit he has end of turn damage for 30 turns he gives us 30 turns of normal attack only and he has five turns of threshold unfortunately with this particular team we actually don't have a way to get around the threshold so we do actually have to stall it out so if you switch with luffy sanji you can remove bind like one turn of bind every turn but you can also grab and gobble up that juicy juicy meat orb I actually got fairly lucky here, and I got a couple of meat orbs, uh, and that's why I would attack with all of your units, even though you aren't doing damage, you can just guarantee, well, not guarantee, but you can still have the chance to land on more meat orbs, and with the overheal mechanic that Luffy Sanji provide, you can just tank a few extra shots from Daifuku. Once you get down to, um, well, once he puts up the resilience, as you guys will see here, uh, this is where we are going to use our beach special, but before you use beach special, make sure that you switch with Shanks crew. That way you don't actually get the attack buff that beach provides. We only want his big father effect here. That's the big reason he's here. That and also to satisfy the uh, condition of, you know, 
bringing a beige unit. The downside to beige, like, there's just, there's, besides his legend and his new rare recruit, there's just no good beiges in the game. But Big Father did come in handy on this particular team. And uh, once again, shout out to Leafy Go for the team build. So we are going to take a shot there from Daifuku. And the important reason that we became Big Father there is if you don't, he actually blows away your friend captain for five turns. So tanking that shot and then removing the... Uh, ability to blow us away is very very important we just need to store one more turn here to remove the threshold and then we can actually move on to the next stage um, after popping some of our specials now on the final stage you can't actually use an attack boost and that's where bringing uh, legend pudding is absolutely god tier for this particular piece of content as she doesn't trigger preemptives in terms of attack boosts so on this stage against daifuku we're going to switch switch into our luffy use their special to give us the attack buff and then we can actually use the pudding special to stockpile that so we can use it on the final stage. We're also going to switch with our Shanks so we have another Psy unit. And then we can use Shanks' special to get the three uh, turns of Chain Lock. Now, the upside to using Shanks is here. Not only we carry that into the next stage, it actually removes the Chain Lock that would be applied to us on the final stage against Smoothie and Oven. So once you kill Daifuku, he um, basically just has a big cry does a whole bunch of damage and then runs away but for us it doesn't matter because we have the big father effect it just basically removes that as we move into the final stage final stage we come up against oven and smoothie as i mentioned smoothie is an int unit oven is a strength uh dex unit so this is where like science strength just like reign supreme they are going to give you three turns of chain lock three turns of chain coefficient down but as you can see we've removed that with shanks's like buff we can use Pudding here to give us an attack boost without triggering Oven's effect. Oven is going to switch your captain, so your captain is going to become the bottom right-hand unit. And then he's also going to like give you the Orb Seal, but you guys will see that in the next fight. So after we do that, we've got an attack buff, 2.5 times attack buff. We have a 2.5 times Orb boost with our uh, Luffy and uh, Law unit. And then we have the 3.5 times Chain Lock. And then just hitting with your um, Color Affinity units, you can just easily fly through their HP easy claps we don't even attack with all of our units it works very very well and once again shout out to leafico now this team isn't the fastest especially with the three that uh, the other two teams that i have built myself um but it still manages to get the job done it is pretty legend heavy and support heavy however but it does it very comfortably and once you sort of get the gist of it it works quite well for the next team, we are using the Roger and Luffy Sanji team. So this Roger team was actually a lot of fun to uh, build and a lot of fun to use. Once again, we are using Legend Pudding to utilize her amazing stockpiling effect. We do have the free-to-play carrot. She's really, really good for this fight. Um, and she's going to be just essential for when you are doing the other variation where you have to bring a carrot and a chopper. We are using the Rare Recruit Beach for this team, and we have Odin as our orb booster. Odin, again, is replaceable with someone like V3 Law, uh, but I just wanted to bring Odin because he does trigger the super typing for Roger. Uh, so if you can just find like an orb booster that triggers the super typing, that'll work well. Uh, same principle as we did on the previous uh, team. We are going to use our Luffy Sanji special on basically turn one, and that way we can actually just gobble up all those meat orbs get rid of the hunger debuff the hunger debuff is actually like insanely annoying uh, it's probably one of the most annoying mechanics they've implemented in the game but i actually do like it a lot i think it's very very clever and it makes meat orbs a lot more viable in the game remember you do have barry pen with pudding and odin does as well on the next stage when we comp against um oh that's not is that barbaros i think i've been calling him the wrong name i can't remember him i honestly can't remember him but once again we are basically just going to um just attack with Roger's 4.5 times captain ability as well as the 5 times from Luffy Sanji. We just do so much damage against these guys that um, we can honestly just wipe all of them out. As we do have a couple of strength units, we do have a couple of Psy units. And as you can see, it's just it's just a cakewalk with um, Roger because the amount of damage he outputs is just absurd. On the next stage, against all of the um, the cake toy people, they're not toys, but like, they, like chess pieces. Um, Again, 10 HP, massive defense. Don't even try and hit your perfects. Just let the hit counters roll out. Have a double check if you need to what characters have what hit counters. Uh, Luffy has six. Carrot has five. Beach has five. Pudding has five. And then Odin, Rod Odin and Roger have four. So you can work it out. Obviously, do your basic maths. Five and five is 10. Six and four is 10. But unfortunately, with this team, the last sort of... You're left with like nine or eight or something like that. But... You just you just want to kill them in two turns, basically. It's just they're just there to, to basically take away your turns, which is very annoying. On the next stage against Perisperi, he turns into a Dex unit, and then he's going to do that thing where he gives us 
despair and four turns of paralysis so on this particular team i don't really have a way to get around that as i don't bring anyone to get around the uh damage reduction but that's okay with this team because we do need to stall out to get our luffy sanji special back so this is where we're going to do our stalling compared to the last team where we stalled against um daifuku so on the second turn against um What's his name? Perispero, he is going to do a HP cut, and then he's going to bind our middle row for five turns. Now, with the switchability of Luffy Sanji, we can turn that into one turn, so it's not that big of a deal. And after the, um, the damage reduction goes away, he actually gives us Despair. And with this particular team, Roger's basically immune to Despair. Well, not basically, he is but <laughs> immune to Despair. So that's when we can burst our boy uh, Perispero down, and then move on to the next stage. So this is where we can use that putting stockpile effect as well. That stockpile effect is actually very, very strong. Especially when the enemy at the end has these sort of preemptives and you struggle to get around them. As pudding actually doesn't trigger that preemptive. So once um, the the damage reduction is gone, we can use our Roger special. can stockpile that three times attack so we can bring it back later. And then we can just finish off Perispero very, very easily. He doesn't have too much HP compared to the three times attack from Roger. But he does have a lot more HP than just sort of trying to kill him with normal attacks. So he's... P particularly annoying, actually, Perispero. When he dies, five turns of bind to your captain, which goes down to four. And then when you move into the Daifuku stage, he puts up the 30 turns of end of turn damage, normal attacks only, and five turns of threshold. With this, we can switch with our Luffy Sanji to remove one of the turns of bind. We can use their special to give us a nice attack boost as we're not going to need it on the final stage. And then we can use Carrot. Carrot's going to give us an orb buff as well as remove the rest of the bind. I do have Jinbei on her, but that's, that's really not essential at all. Um, it just sort of increase my chain multiplier but as you'll see there like you don't need it <laughs> like you don't even need it you've got three extra units you don't attack with so don't even worry about Jinbei just being like a stat booster I guess the final stage against oven and smoothie they are going to give you a full board of block orbs and they only allow you to use three specials smoothie's going to give you three turns of um chain lock and chain coefficient reduction so this is where the beach the new beach is actually really good he's going to remove that he's going to give a threshold and heal us a little bit and then we can use the uh, super typing, oh sorry, the special of Pudding. She's going to give us a full board of orbs and give us that attack buff. And the beautiful thing is it doesn't trigger Oven in terms of swapping our captain or locking our orbs. Then we're going to use the super typing of Roger just because you can use that any time throughout the run if you really want to. Finish off with Odin special to give us a full board of Wano orbs, an orb buff for basically our whole team besides Pudding. And that's just going to be GG. With the super typing, as you'll see, we just absolutely destroy Smoothie. And then we can just finish it off. I was going to finish it off with Beige, and I was like, nah, let's give Odin some love. I want to see that end Odin, as I do have the level 1 sticker on him. Uh, it doesn't come up. That sucks. But it is what it is. That team works very, very well. It's it, it's very, very safe as well. So if you do have those units, I would highly recommend using either that team or the next team you're about to see. So for the next team, uh, we are using double Luffy Sanji. Now, for this particular team, it is... It is a little bit whale heavy, but there are some sort of changes that you guys can make. So the pudding we're using on this team is actually limited rare recruit pudding, and we are using the new Germa unit. Um, if you don't have the new Germa unit, then um, this team doesn't really function all that well. But you could all like replace Germa with like I don't know like like V four uh, V three Law, um, get the all booth then, and then when you become the captain, like Law is still a very very good captain, so it's not going to matter all that much. But Germa we just built for this. Um, it was, it was weird. When I was doing it, I was thinking like Luffy Sanji is like the one you need, but Germa helps just so much. But in saying that, it is weird that Luffy Sanji is the character that you need need. Um, limited Rare Recruit Pudding is probably replaceable with like Rare Recruit Pudding, to be honest. Um, it just means you're going to have to stall on the Perispero stage, but you could easily put her in the bottom left uh, and then use her special to like give you damage reduction on the Perispero stage. But uh, with this team bringing her actually helps out a lot as you can use the flumpe support she has the flumpe support as well as the support of Rayleigh being on our luffy and sanji so as you see there we did the same trick as before we used our luffy sanji special to give us a full board of meat orbs to remove the hunger debuff and then when we move into the next stage we can just fly through the chick in the front i have no idea what her name is i'm not even going to try all i'm going to assume is that she is um one of the kids from big mom like that's all i'm going to like that's all i'm going to say um once you like take her out you do want to take her out otherwise she gives you the four turns of special bind very very important you kill her and then you can take on barbaros and the cannoneers or whatever's left of the cannoneers in the back because you're switching into uh luffy as well you have so much damage and you're just basically at full hp anyway so you can just absolutely clap barbaros don't even worry about him just fly through his hp and then move on 
On the next stage against the uh, chest pieces, I'm going to call them, um, they're going to have that 10 HP. So just sort of like, yeah, like I said in the last two teams, basic maths, just find out what characters hit for what certain like, like hit counters, and then you can sort of take them out. Now, I actually stuffed that up. Basic maths. Good job, Stumped. Captain of the Spoon Pirates. But um, Carrot has a five turn. Beach has five turns. Uh, German has four. The Luffy's have six. And I'm pretty sure uh, Pudding has five off the top of my head, I think. But either way, they have 10 HP. You just don't even worry about hitting your perfects. Just take him out and move on to the next stage against Perisparo. Against Perisparo, becomes a dex unit, as you guys know. If you have been watching this whole video, um, she's going to give you five turns of gloom and four turns of paralysis. This is where Rayleigh's just absolutely amazing because he's going to remove two of them. I do have the support of Pedro as well. You could also use Pedro if you don't have Rayleigh to remove the despair. But with the switch abilities of Luffy and Sanji, it really doesn't matter too much. Uh, after that, we can use the uh, pudding special to remove the damage reduction. And with the flumpe support, we can actually get an orb buff to our Psy units. Now, the big upside to doing that is we can just do a butt ton of damage to our boy a pair of sparrow. but as i mentioned to you guys if you are running double luffy sanji you don't have to worry about the bind he inflicts every single turn so you can replace her with someone like like rare recruit pudding or even legend pudding should work fine um i just wanted to bring her because like i i sort of recently pulled her well on the last sort of kazuna banner i think it was and i've never used her before so i figured hey why like why not use her this is the perfect time too right so after you kill Perisparo, he is going to bind your captain for eight turns, goes down to four with sockets and preemptive, and then you come into the next stage against Daifuku. Daifuku turns into a int unit, gives you a full board of unfavorable orbs, five turns of threshold, 30 turns of end of turn damage, 30 turns of normal attacks only. This, this, this content does a lot, like honestly, like, and it isn't, I would definitely not say it's the easiest content in the world. So we are going to use our carrot special to get an orb boost, uh, and that way we can actually remove the rest of the bind, switch to Luffy Sanji to remove that final turn, and then use this Luffy Sanji special to give us a monster attack buff. Basically on this particular fight, like you do want to try and stall on Perispero if you need to, but you just want to make sure that you can get your Luffy Sanji special back. And if you need to stall, Perispero is the place to do that. Do not stall on uh, Daifuku as he does a whole bunch of nasty stuff at the end of every turn. If you want to see what he does, just go back to the first team because you'll see it there. On the final stage against Smoothie and Oven, three turns only for specials, three turns of, three of uh, Chain Coefficient Reduction and Multiply, which can be easily removed with Beige. Then, before we use our Luffy Sanji special, we're actually going to use our German special. German's going to become our captains, which is just going to nullify the effect of what um, Oven is going to do to us if we use an attack boost. So we're going to drop the super typing of Germa, so we got the Orb Boost, the Chain Multiply, and then finish it off with the Luffy Sanji, special to get the attack buff now it is still going to trigger oven but he's only going to lock the orbs and with that because germa is super effective against all types you can just focus all of your like psi units on smoothie and then all of your strength units on oven and as you'll see we just fly through the hp so i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did make sure to go down there and belt that like button and if you are new to the channel or you want to stay up to date with more optc content i post hit the big red subscribe button too but guys most importantly enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are in this beautiful world as always guys i thank you for watching and i will catch you all in the next one late